All right, so now we're learning about how to get data into Airtable. And the easiest way that I've found to get data into Airtable is a lot of times just copying and pasting. And this is good to just get started. So say you're using a Google Sheet. Airtable has slowly learned how to find different fields, but they're not quite there yet. Maybe by the time you're watching this, they're pretty good at it. So what I would do in, in that case is just come up here and create uh, empty table or we'll actually click import data and then choose whichever one you're using. So choose a CSV file, choose a Google sheet, Excel numbers, access, etc. And that's really going to allow you to just import it and have Airtable figure out what the field types are. You're still going to have a little bit of editing if I'm guessing right, but that's a really easy way to do it. Another way is just copying and pasting. So in my project tracker, say I just created this and I don't like it anymore. So you want to copy and, pa copy and paste all of the names and the contact information maybe in your case, but for us, just like the name and the about from this base into our other base. And so to do that, I'll show you how I'm going to do this as well. So I click on the first cell, I hold shift and then hit the right key once to get it to be these first two still holding down shift, never let go. I'm going to hold shift and hold the command key at the same time. And now I'm going to hit the down key and it's going to highlight all those. Now I lifted my hands up so they're not on the keyboard anymore. And then I'm just going to press command C. So copy. So it'll say 28 cells copied. And then if I come over to this base and this could work similarly with a with your like Google Sheets or your Excel, you can just press in this first one. So the first column in that other base was the name. So I'll just come in here and press on the name field and then press Command V. And it'll ask you to expand the table. Just click Continue if you want that data in here. And that'll be perfect. So all of that data, that data came in, just copied and paste, pasted. So that's one way to do it. Another way, like I said, is you can come up here and import data. If you have the app where you can import data through a CSV to like update all these records, you could use that as well. And then the last one is Airtable automations. And that's really the key to taking you out of the process because I don't think anybody like they're the number one thing that they're good at is copying and pasting data in here. I don't think that's the case. So if you can learn the Airtable automations and learn how to get data from one place into Airtable using the API, just it's a very simple connection. It's That one's actually just a copy and paste. Sadly, it can't be automated yet. But just connecting these two applications and using Zapier or Integramat or Airtable internal automations, that's really going to bring your database to life so that you don't have to be doing all these manual processes with changing statuses or adding a new record or like any of that. So I hope that was helpful. And if you are still are curious to learn more about Airtable automations, you can go to my channel and learn more about them. Or I know Dan will have a course coming out soon about Airtable automation. So hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.